Sailor the bird. Sailor the bird. to our governor, Governor Malloy. Thank you, Mayor. I'll make this uh, very quick. It is, uh, it's great to be with everybody here today. Bridgeport is a great community. I don't think people actually understand how vital, how strong Bridgeport is. And so it's great to see it demonstrated here at the Capitol. I also want to thank all of the not-for-profit organizations and community providers that are represented here, colleges as well. Thank you for coming up and demonstrating how, how important Bridgeport is and how important its uh, people are and how great they are. Let me also say that we have other fights uh, going on up here in the legislative session. One of those fights is to more fairly fund our cities. Uh, the reality is that our cities have been underfunded uh, for a long period of time. And as hard as Bridgeport works to turn itself around and make progress, it needs more support from state government. That's what my budget is about. That's what we're trying to do in this session. We need to get this thing done. Have a great day. God bless you all. Thank you. Before you leave, I want to thank the person who made a commitment to fund cities, to fund Bridgeport. We need that money for education. We need that money for services. property tax relief and for services, Governor. Thanks so much. Right, thank you, man. Appreciate thank it. You. Uh, I guess I've taken on the role of, uh, and I'm, hopefully I'm good at it, of being the MC today. Because I have the honor also, to my right, of introducing a young man, not by year, but by energy and by commitment. And that's our senior senator from the city of Bridgeport, yes. the young Senator Ed Gold. Get up here. Yes. I don't know if that was good or damage or one, one or the other. Hey, I want to thank you for being here. Eric, you want to come up here, Eric? 
Aaron to come up here. Aaron and Baye. This is Aaron Turner. Aaron's the one that did all of this. Hey. Hey. I'm just the guy that follows behind Aaron. But it, 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 it's great to see you guys up here because what it amounts to is that you are concerned about the city of Bridgeport. Well, we have the mayor here, we have the governor here. Those are the people that talk to. Those are the people that talk to get what we need in Bridgeport. We need more money in the, for our Board of Education. We, we need more money to alleviate some of the taxes in Bridgeport. I know a lot of you guys are kids, you're in school, but this is the way you're going to learn about it. You're going to be the forefront of everything that's going to happen in Bridgeport. Bridgeport is a great city. I've been in this great city, now I'm going to tell you my age. I've been in this city 74 years, and I, I love Bridgeport. I was not born in Bridgeport, I was born in Massachusetts, but for all practical purposes, Bridgeport is my hometown. And everything I do up here, I do for Bridgeport. A little while ago, I was late getting here because I had a speak at a press conference, and we had this guy over there with us. This is Steve Staffstrom, he's a state rep. Who's also the resident of East St. Baptist and a state member. We got a we got Anthony Pamela who's a who's a city councilman here. And we got all kinds of people here to greet you. I see some of my friends here that do great work in Bridgeport. Hey, he's always He's got a story he tells, but it's not true. He's an ex-cop, and he talks about it. He's had to chase me all the time. <laughs> hey, I don't know what else to say to you, but I'm, I'm real glad for you guys to be up here. Uh, if there's anything that you should need while you're up here that we can't provide, you know, just try to get a hold of one of us and see what we can do for you. I'm going to have Aaron say a few words to you, because you can't have somebody not say a few words who put all this together, all right? Thank you. We're going on Bridgeport! Let the people know that we're in here in Bridgeport! Woo! Happy you all made it out, especially on this uh, race of weather. Continue to mingle with one another, connect, network, uh, speak to the legislators, speak to their colleagues. The reason why you are here is to make sure Bridgeport gets what it needs. Again, like Senator Gomes said, if you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out to us. And I did. Thank you. We have a couple of uh, hardworking, distinguished state representatives. I'm going to do some. This gentleman wears a lot of hats. He's a doctor. He's a minister. Uh, he's a fighter. He, worked, he helped uh, move the city forward for for well over a year. From inside, he fights for rights on the outside. Uh, our good friend, he's up there as a state rep, state representative Charles Stover. Come on up, Charles. Yeah. Let's give it up for our Mayor Joe Gannon. All right. All right. What a joy it is to see Bridgeport in the house. Yeah, yeah, and this is so important. Uh, not only today, but when other items come up on the, on the uh, bills we're trying to pass. It's good to have people here, constituents here, we will let other uh, reps and senators know that Bridgeport is important and that we will do all we can to fight for Bridgeport. For those of you who don't know, uh, here's my A, Luwania. Hey, 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 hey. So if you ever need me, you can't get me, find and I'll be somewhere close. All right? I'm glad you're here. Thank you. We got a, a, a very full agenda today, but a lot of the state reps are bouncing between the state senators, are bouncing between their commitments to what they got to do to protect Bridgeport and fight for Bridgeport and to be here. But we also have state representatives. Steve Staffton in the House does a great job uh, fighting for us. Let's give him a round of applause. And thanks so much. Thanks, Mayor. Thanks, Mayor. And thanks everybody for being here. And, you know, I know we have so many people from so many different segments of our great city here. You know, we're here today to remind everybody Bridgeport's our state large is our state's largest city. And we know what we need for Bridgeport, right? We know we need to get people back to work. And we know that entails better education, education funding, finding jobs, stabilizing our tax base, 
stabilizing our finances in our city, and we are working hard every single day in partnership with the administration. No, Scott Burns, chairman of the Budget Committee and City Council, is here as well. We're working hard every day to make sure we're advancing that agenda for the city up here. But we need your help. We need you guys up here. It is so great to see so many people up here today joining in this fight, joining with us as we try to advance the legislative agenda. I know the governor was up here earlier. You know, we thank the governor for what, he, what his leadership in saying, we need to fight to put our cities first. We can rebuild the economy in the state of Connecticut, but it starts with our poor cities. It starts with cities like Bridgeport as our state's largest city. Bringing back educational opportunity, bringing back job opportunities to our city, and rebuilding our economy and rebuilding our population base. And we are, we are keeping our eye on the ball on that every single day up here, fighting with all of you, and I thank you all so much for being here with us. By the way, Steve is on the finance committee. And by the way, and by the way, and by the way, the other thing we didn't mention today is we actually have today the Judiciary Committee is about to go meet, so I'm gonna head out of here in a minute because I'm vice chairman of the Judiciary Committee that is fighting every day to increase our civil rights, civil justice, decrease the, the school to prison pipeline, fight for uh, prison reforms. So that is a big issue. So if you have a chance, pop over today to 2E. Come on in and to see. Come on in and see us in the Judiciary Committee today on our big day. All right. I'm going to take this opportunity to tell you uh, somebody else is going to run this, but I got to go to the same place that Steve goes. We're both on the Judiciary Committee. With me, and then we have to get over there. But um, if anything should come up and you have a question or something, try to try to look for Aaron. Ab Harris. Ab Harris is a is a mayor's representative up here, and you can look to him for anything you want to see. Um, who else can I talk to? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Senator. I want you know, members of the mayor's office are here in force. Uh, you know most of them, but I'm going to ask them to raise their hand. Tom Gaudet's here. Bob um, Harris is here. Ray Garcia is here. Uh, Christine Bartlett is here. Not from the mayor's office but holds an office in Bridgeport, the Democratic Town Chairman, Mario Tess, is here as well. So are you going to give a round of applause? Scott Burns is here, one of our council members. Anthony was already acknowledged. Give us both a vocal round of applause. Represent the city council. Anyone else, any other state reps that come up and want to give them a microphone, but know they're up here working hard for us. Give them all another round of applause and support for the Bridgeport delegation. And what are the people that are one other person I want you to meet, that's Julie Barr. She's our press person. If you guys want to get a few comments in on uh, or some pictures, Julie Barr will take care of you on that. Stand, he's right here taking pictures on that. I'm sorry I have to leave, but like I said, we have to also attend different committee meetings and, and vote on different things. And we just can't stop the show because you guys are here. But we appreciate you being here. Have a good day.